Welcome back. Now LA's homeless can keep clean with their very own street washing machine. Yeah, if you're an LA squatter, your tent may have electricity and water. Some of LA's homeless are getting so bold, they're now siphoning water and power from the city streets and hooking up appliances. The city's got more illegal hookups than R. Kelly. <laughs> Several encampments have their own washing machines. Some even have flower beds. May as well put that street poop to good use, am I right? <laughs> Business owners and other locals are pretty fed up. They've been snapping pics and videos of the insanity, sharing it online. They've even considered <laughs> in the encampments, front yards, just to see how they like it. <laughs> I made that part up. <laughs> so people are stealing city water and power as they please. Soon there'll be brownouts in the city and on the sidewalk. A lot of poop humor today. And it's not just one neighborhood. There's encampments all over the city with full-size tents and cordoned off streets. It's like a street fair, except the theme is hepatitis and knife fights. There's an idea. <laughs> so with 70,000 people on the street, it makes sense. Homelessness is the dominant issue in L.A.'s upcoming mayoral election. Both candidates, Rick Caruso and Karen Bass, say they'll make it easier to build new affordable housing and expand the city's shelter system. The outgoing mayor, Eric Garcetti, says he did that, too, and it only expanded the problem onto sidewalks and public parks. Fact is, when you make it easier to be homeless, you just attract more homeless, like Kat did when she was single. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but at least their clothes will smell better. And hey, everyone should wash their rug once in a while, which is what I tell Waters about his toupee. <laughs> But hopefully L.A. can get back to its glory days when the only thing that stank was the new De Niro movie. <laughs> yeah, because they do suck. Peter, the, the solutions that they offer, we've had these solutions. Yeah. This is not, like, I don't, I, I know the homeless in, this, in New York. They are not looking for affordable housing. Yeah. They're not like, Ugh, do you know this is, this $3,000 a month right. uh, uh, apartment's too much for me? I'm looking for something in the $2,500 range. Yeah. No, they, they, if they have $2,500, that's going into their arm. That's right. That's right. And look, this is California. So let's remember, the homeless are not going to get in trouble setting up these tent cities. They might get in trouble if those washing machines are not high-energy efficient washing machines, right? <laughs> that's what's going to get them in trouble. <laughs> yeah. And that's the, you know... That's the absurd nature of what they're doing. I mean, these are people whose lives are suffering, and in the name of sort of freedom and tolerance, uh, they're taking over these areas. It's affecting the quality of life. I think the interesting thing, though, is, Greg, that so much of this is now happening in these liberal enclaves in these cities, places like Los Angeles. If this was a red neighborhood where this was taking place, the city of Los Angeles wouldn't care. Yeah. They're going to be getting phone calls now from very powerful donors who are saying, I'm tired of this. You need to do something about it. Yeah. You know, uh, Kat, you just recently got your own washer and dryer. Uh, yeah. I mean, you married. You had a mar It was part of the, uh, what do you call it? I've actually dowry. never. I've yeah, actually... it was part of the dowry. I think, you, I think you got a goat. I've actually never bought a piece of furniture in my entire life. <laughs> I'm turning 34 on Saturday. I've never bought furniture. I've only inherited it. Mm. So. Is that good for you? Yeah, I think so. I think that. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's like the street setup over there is a lot nicer than like the, a lot of the apartments that do cost thousands of dollars in New York. Yeah. Like maybe you're living on the street, but how many people can say they have on-site laundry? Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> nobody. And it's, you know what they, call, what they call it in real estate? Inside, outside living, right? Yeah. Where you got like open got concept. Open concept. You can walk. Well, you, I can sit on the couch watch and watch. Lights. Yeah, watch TV. But there's no wall here. Yeah. That's inside, yeah. outside living. Everybody wants that now. There's opportunity. It, yeah. There's opportunity. I mean, they, maybe they can open up a homeless dry cleaning and alterations. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, I agree. Excuse me, but. Um, my shirt's missing a sleeve. <laughs> and now there's blood and piss on it. So there's a needle in my jacket. You know, so. I needed the sleeve. I needed it. I needed it. I needed it. Yeah, you know what? But there's an idea. Are we finally evolving into these villages that we saw in science fiction movies <laughs> where they do actually have, they'll have their own laundromat. They might have these little restaurants. It could be a whole, this could be a whole new thing. Okay, Gutfeld, you dear sweet boy. Um, <laughs> in those sci-fi movies, you forget the other part. The rich then ate them. Yo. <laughs> they let them have their own little village and they rounded them up and then... 
these Morlocks showed up and they were on the plate for the elitists. But California is dying. I mean, it, it, and I grew up there. And when you look at, when you talk to politicians, they're like mission accomplished. Mm -hmm. Like, look at that. They have tents, they have washing machines, they have quality of life. Yeah. They just don't care about the people who are paying rent inside the houses. And guess what's going to happen to their rent? It's going to go up. Guess what's going to happen to their electric bills? Who do you think is going to pay for those outdoor washing machines? Mm -hmm. you know, which is, I guess, cool. I've never done a load of laundry in my life, and I'm proud of that, just like you haven't bought furniture. <laughs> really? Yeah, no. That is impressive. Yep, a lot of my dating in college was based on folding and separating. So, <laughs> I, I get it. And you're not talking so, about the clothes. <laughs> I am talking about the clothes. Hey <laughs> what does that mean? You want to, you want to clap? What does that mean? You have no idea. I hope they put washing machines in front of your house. <laughs> Clean up your act. That's true, though. I don't know what I'm thinking right now. I think it kind of makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> The delivery, though, was spot on. <laughs> you know what I mean? It had the form of a joke, and everybody went, yeah. yeah. That's all you have to do. I, I am the master of something that sounds like it's supposed to be funny. <laughs> 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 and, it's, and it's not. <laughs> he just told you he's a hack and a fraud. Yeah. And you laugh. <laughs> Well, we solved nothing in this segment, and that means we're doing a good job. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.